Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss a new features in click set analysis that is called outer set expression. This is an Excel file and sample data which I am going to use for this application. We have sales data where we have order ID, line number, order date, product category, customer, country and we have quantity, line cost price and line sales price. I have created a sample application. This sample data and application is available to download. You can check the description section for the link. Before starting, I would strongly recommend you to go through the previous videos which I have created on set analysis because it would be easy for you to understand set analysis from scratch. We all know that set analysis syntax is bit complex and it is difficult to adapt at first glance. But once you start using it regular basis, it would be easy for you to get the result using this powerful function. So let's start with the outer set expression. First of all, I will create a KPI and I will say sum of sales. So this will give me total sales and the total sales we can see from here 243.552. Now say our requirement is to get sales of selected year. So if say I am selecting a year 2021 then I should get sales of 2021 but if I haven't selected anything then in that case I will get the sales of maximum year that is 2022. So we can do something like this here. I will use set expression here and I will say year equal to my maximum year inside the dollar sign expression. So I am getting 122291 which is the sales of my year 2022. If I will select 2021, I will get sales of 2021. So if you see here, the set expression which is inside the curly bracket, this set expression is called as an inner set expression. Click has now implemented outer set expression. This new syntax will work for all click sense from August 2022. In click view, they will implement from late spring 2023. So if you are working on older version of click sense, then I would strongly recommend you to upgrade ClickSense or apply the latest patch of your release. I am not sure that applying the latest patch, the outer set expression will work, but it is worth to try. Say, the requirement is we want sum of sales for the selected years for category audio only. Then we can add another set modifier here and I can say category equal to audio and now I will get 26085 so we can match this by selecting 2022 and 26085 for audio or if I will select 2021 instead of 2022 and we will get 15320 so this is matching so here whatever set modifier we have written inside the curly bracket and angular bracket they are a part of inner set expression. So what is outer set expression? So instead of writing this if I will write something like this I will remove the whole inner set expression and I will mention at the start of sum of sales. So before sum of sales, I have implemented this set expression. This is called as outer set expression and we will get the same result. Instead of two set modifier, we can even write a single set modifier. So it is depends on what type of requirement we are having. So the simple question is why we need this outer set expression. I will give you another good example for this. So say our requirement is to find out average value of sales order. So what I can do, 
I will copy this and here I will write sum of sales divided by count of distinct order ID. So this will give me 1461. Uh, it is already created inside the KPI but 1461 1, is the average order value for selected year 2021. But if I will remove this selection then 1613 is the average sales value overall. We can verify this by using calculator. So we have total sales 243552 divided by total order 151. So you can see we have 1612.92. This is our average sales order value. Now we want to find out average sales order value for the selected year. So how we can use this one? So in that case, you have to write down something like this. Inner set expression, here year equal to max year with the dollar sign expansion and the same you have to copy here for count of distinct total ID. And now we are getting 1798. So if I will select 2022, then we are getting 1798. So you can see here, we have an expression where we have to mention this inner set expression two times. But, but instead of that, if I will write something like this using the outer set expression, so instead of mentioning two times, I will mention once here and I will remove this inner set expression from count of distinct order ID. So this set expression, which is an outer set expression, will in implement in whole expression. So now you will see that we are still getting the same result. So it is easy to modify our expressions. So this is the first use case. Second thing is say we have created a master measure. So I have a master measure for average order value. I have a master measure for average order value. And I am creating a master measure and here I will say average order value. And I will save this one. Now my requirement is for the main dashboard I want average order value. But say I want average order value for country India. So the average order value for India is 1683. So how I am going to get this average order value using the master measure which is I have already created. So what I can do here is I will go to the master measure section and I will create another master measure and here I will write average order value and here I will mention country equal to India. And here I will say name as India average order value. And I will change the number format as this. And then inside this KPI, I will change the measure. So now you can see the average order value for India is 1683. So let's select India here. Both the expression value now matching. The same way using the same expression, if I want average sales value of current year, then I can create the same measure here and using the same master measure, I will say year equal to my max year inside dollar sign expansion and here I will say selected year 
average order value and I will change the number format here and I will say create I will create another KPI here and I will replace the measure here so now for the current year if I will select 2022 the average order value is 1798 which we are still getting without any selection so this is about outer set expression I don't want to make this video a bit lengthy so in a part 2 I will show you what are the different things we need to consider when we will use outer set expression till now thanks and have a good day